Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We're going to take you to the Blair witchiest spot on Cape Cod next. CapeCast! Our journey begins at the back side of the cemetery. Past that brick mausoleum is a road that goes into the woods. And in these woods, something awful happened. All right, here's the deal. We're kind of on the trail of Tony Costa, a man who murdered several people here back in the late 60s, 1960s that is. They called him Chop Chop. We found out that there's this eerie marker of that horrible, horrible event in the woods. People have been spooked by the story of Tony Costa for a long time. Tony Costa of Provincetown, a carpenter, was found guilty of first-degree murder in 1970 in the deaths of two women. Their mutilated and sexually violated dismembered bodies were found in 1969 in this desolate wooded area in Truro. In 1974, Costa, 29, was found hanging in his cell in Walpole. He was dead. Oh, I don't know. Will we ever find this thing deep in the woods of Truro? Whoa. What's that silvery thing over there? Oh man, no way. No way. Oh, there it is. I can't believe it. Oh man. Oh, my skin is crawling. Tony Chop Shop's phone. Oh boy. Oh man, that's the kind of thing that just gets the goosebumps going and your pulse rate flying. Oh man, a creepy reminder of a horrible thing that happened in these woods here in Truro. And this thing is right there. This is, without a doubt, the scariest thing I have ever seen on Cape Cod. This phone in the woods. This is the Blair Witchiest spot on Cape Cod. And I can't wait to get out of here. 